Hey there, it's Rick Khan from rickkhan.com. And if you're wondering, what is the new Advantage Campaign Budget Plus on your Facebook ad account? Then stay tuned to find out what this means for your advertising. And if you stay all the way to the end, you'll also discover what type of budget optimization you should be using after this new change. Now, you might not have this yet because not all accounts have this showing, but it seems to be a feature that's on a few accounts now and probably will be on most accounts as time goes on. So if you haven't had this change rolled out on your ad account, this is where you'll find it. If you go to campaign setup and scroll down, there's now Advantage Campaign Optimization Plus rather than having the old CBO. And again, it's not on all the accounts yet, but I'm sure Facebook Meta will roll this out as they seem to do this to a few accounts like other changes and then slowly roll it out to everyone. Now, what's the actual difference between CBO and this new Advantage campaign budget? Well, on Facebook's website, they say specifically, it's a way of optimizing the distribution of campaign budget across your campaign's ad sets. Now, here's the thing. As I've been running this optimization, I've not seen anything different from CBO. And if you're familiar with the CBO campaign, you'll know that it's basically doing the same thing, distributing your ad spend across your best ad sets. So basically, there's no difference. But I think what's happening here is this, is that they're basically wanting people to use CBO more than ABO and they've changed the angle in a way that has more of a sizzle. The word advantage is a way of indirectly stating that it's probably going to put you ahead in your advertising, making it sound more appealing, especially to brand new advertisers. Now also, if you notice under the advantage campaign budget, instead of using the old bid strategy of the default that used to say the lowest cost has now changed to the highest volume or value, where Facebook says, get the most results or purchase value for your budget, which is basically similar to getting the lowest cost to get your desired result. They're just saying it in another way of getting the most from your budget. Maybe this change is because it's their way of stating the promise and claim, which is more of a big promise and sounds more positive to the user. And if you think about this, since they're essentially hyping the CBO or ACO, I'm sure we'll all be saying, it usually means because they want you to use it as you put more money into it. Because to be fair, CBO does return very good results once it does start working well for you. Now, the question is, should you use this Advantage campaign budget over ad set budget optimization? Well, this really depends where you are with your advertising. You see, if you're just starting out or testing a product or service, or even have a new lead magnet, then having full control with your ad spend will be priority. This is where ABO will be better because you can control the ad spend on each ad set and increase budgets where you want. And then you can turn the ones off that don't work. But if you have a winning offer and you have a funnel that's converting, then CBO, or as they call it now, the Advantage Budget Optimization will be better as you can let Facebook allocate your budget across each ad set to find you the best results from each. And especially if you're retargeting different audiences that may cause an overlap, then the advantage campaign optimization will be superior. Now, here's the thing. There are more and many changes Facebook's rolling out, and I'm gonna be doing some heavy testing on all of these changes. So to stay updated about this, make sure to subscribe as I'll be bringing out new videos soon. And if you like this video, it really helps to let me know by hitting that like button. And just before you go, there's something you can do to find and put your ads directly in front of your competitors' audiences, where I show you in this video that's popping up. Check it out and learn the three tricks to target your competitors' audience, and I'll see you in the next video.